हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक इज कंप्यूटर मेमोरी सिस्टम ओवरव्यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंटरनल मेमोरी टुडे लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द सेकेंडरी मेमोरी और ऑक्सिलरी मेमोरी सेकेंडरी मेमोरी आल्सो नोन एज सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज और ऑक्सिलरी मेमोरी इज द स्लोअर एंड चीपर फॉर्म ऑफ मेमोरी इट इज अ परमानेंट स्टोरेज डिवाइस सी पी यू डज नॉट एक्सेस द सेकेंडरी मेमोरी डायरेक्टली The content in it must first be copied into the RAM to be processed. Secondary memory is non-volatile in nature. That is, the information does not get erased even when the power is switched off, and the data will not be destructed until and unless the user erases it. There are three types of secondary memory devices: magnetic disk, optical disk. and solid state first let us see some of the magnetic disk in detail commonly used magnetic disk are floppy disk hard disk and magnetic tapes floppy disk is otherwise known as diskette A floppy disk drive is a computer disk drive that enables a user to save data on removable diskettes. This portable storage device is a rewritable media and can be reused a number of times. It is made up of plastic with magnetic coating on it. It is round in shape and it is covered by square plastic jacket. Floppy disks are commonly used to move files between different computers. Each floppy disk can store approximately a million characters. A floppy disk is inserted in a slot of the FDD that is floppy disk drive. The disk is rotated normally at 300 revolutions per minute. Floppy disk come with various capacities. 3.5 inches disk hold a capacity of 800 KB to 2.8 MB. A 5.2 inches disk hold a capacity of 360 KB to 1.2 MB. Hard disk drive. A hard disk drive is a non-volatile random access digital storage device. It is a data storage device used for storing and retrieving digital information using rotating disk coated with magnetic material. All programs of a computer are installed in the hard disk within a particular drive. It consists of a spindle that holds non-magnetic flat circular disk called the platers which hold the recorded data. Each plater requires two read write heads that is used to write and read the information from the plater. All the read write heads are attached to a single access arm so that they cannot move independently. The information is recorded in bands. Each band of information is called a track. Each plater has the same number of tracks and a track location that cuts across all the platers is called a cylinder. The tracks are divided into pie-shaped sections known as the sectors. Magnetic tapes. It is a storage medium on a large open reel or in a smaller cartridge or cassette made up of a magnetic material. It is used for those application that are based on sequential data processing that is it is a sequential data access medium due to the sequential data access nature these tapes are not suitable for the data files that need to be revised or updated often they are generally used to store backup data compact disk compact disk is an optical media that is used to store digital data The CDs are relatively cheap storage devices. The most common storage capacity of CD is 700 MB. Compact disk are categorized into three main types. CD-ROM, compact disk read only memory. CD-R, compact disk recordable. CD-RW, compact disk rewritable. Next is DVD digital video disc 
DVD is also known as super density disc. DVDs offer higher storage capacity than CDs while having the same dimensions. Depending upon the disc type, DVD can store several gigabytes of data. DVDs are primarily used to store music or movies and can be played back on your television or on the computer too. They are not rewritable media. DVDs come in three varieties. DVD ROM, Digital Media Disc Read Only Memory, DVD R, DVD Recordable, DVD RW, DVD Rewritable. Next one is Blu-ray Disc. It is an optical disc storage medium designed to recapture the data normally in the DVD format. The name Blu-ray disc refers to the blue laser used to read the disc while allows information to be stored at a greater density. The variations in the formats are Blu-ray disc ROM, read only for pre-recorded content, BDR, recordable for PC data storage, BDRW, rewritable for PC data storage, BDRE, rewritable for HDTV recording. Pen drive, flash drive or thumb drive. A flash drive is a data storage device that consists of flash memory with an integrated universal serial bus interface. USB flash drives are typically removable, rewritable and physically much smaller than a floppy disk. Memory hierarchy. Memory hierarchy is the approach of organization of memory and the storage system. Hierarchy means levels. Memory hierarchy is an enhancement to organize the memory such that it can minimize the access time. It is developed based on a program behavior known as locality of references. The four hierarchies in the memory are registers, cache, main memory and auxiliary memory. As we move from bottom to top in the hierarchy, the cost per bit increases. That is, internal memory is costlier than the external memory. The speed gap increases between the CPU registers and main memory due to large difference in the access time. As we move from top to bottom in the hierarchy, the access time increases. The main factors of memory are speed, size or capacity and cost. Let's see in detail about the memory hierarchy. The programs tends to reuse data and instructions that are closer to those they have been recently referenced. It is based on two properties, temporal locality and spatial locality. Temporal locality. Recently referenced data are likely to be referenced in the near future. Spatial locality is the item with nearby addresses tends to be referenced more often with high probability. Processor is the master and computer system. The memory and the input output are the slaves. Processor is much faster compared to memory. That is memory access is slower than CPU cycles. The dynamic RAM has an access time of 30 to 50 NS. Further system may need 3x longer or more time to get data from memory to CPU. Accessing the fastest process to slowest memory, processor has to wait until memory completes the job. It reduces the processor utilization. Locality of reference increases small amount of speed access and memory. But still, the speed between CPU and memory is widened. To increase the processor utilization with memory, memory has been spliced up into multiple chunks. Fastest, medium fast and slower. As per factors of memory, if speed increases, cost will get increased and the size get reduced and so on. Fast storage technology cost more and have less capacity. Arranging the different layers is called memory hierarchy. 
processor first interacts with fastest memory. If data not found, it interacts with the medium and slowest. CPU always access the fastest memory. Cache is the fastest memory. It is used to store data temporarily and access quickly. Cache is the static RAM. DRAM is the dynamic RAM. Dynamic RAM behaves as the medium speed memory. It is also called as the main memory. Secondary storage is the slow memory. It is the storage purpose memory. CPU registers holds words retrieved from cache. Cache holds cache lines retrieved from main memory. The main memory holds disk blocks retrieved from disk. Disk hold files from tapes or remote network servers. CPU first access registers to get data. If not, it copies the data from cache to registers, then main memory to cache, and then to registers and so on. CPU always retrieve data from registers. Properties of memory levels First one is inclusion. Any data part of lower level has to be present in the higher level. Next is coherence. Consistency. Multiple copies of same data are available at each level. All copies need to be identical. The last property is locality of reference. It is based on temporal, spatial and sequential. Temporal, it will be used in the near future. Spatial is adjacent data are likely to be used often. That is with respect to location. Sequential is the execution of instructions. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.